Know and follow rules. I go to school with my friends. We have rules to help us know what to do. We have rules for play. And we have rules for work. Sometimes we work quietly. At other times, we speak up. We say Tuesday when you are in school, you say the day. Rules help us learn. One rule I know is to listen. I look at the person talking and think about what is said. If I want help, I can ask. I can follow directions too. I do things the first time I am told. I also do my best. I think carefully about my work. I take time to do it well. Rules help me show respect. I keep my hands and feet to myself. I won't use them to bother or hurt anyone. And I ask permission to use things that aren't mine. May I look at that? Rules remind me to be polite. I say please, thank you, and excuse me. I speak kind words in a friendly voice. I do things to help someone else. Rules help make things fair for everyone. When I play games, I follow rules. I wait my turn. I let everyone use things. If there is a problem, I listen and talk about it or get help from a grown-up. Rules help keep everyone safe too. I walk in the hallway. I also use things carefully. Each place I go has its own rules. When I know and follow rules, things usually work out well. When I follow rules by myself, I'm being responsible. I'm learning and staying safe. I'm showing respect. When we all know and follow rules, it helps us get along. Respect and take care of things. I'm learning to take care of myself and things around me. I show respect when I take care of things. After I use something, I put it where it belongs. Everything has a place. When I put things away, the room looks neat. It feels comfortable. And it's safe when I keep things off the floor. I can play with one thing at a time. After I use something, I can put it where it goes. Then we all know where to find it. I can help take care of things I use with others and things that someone else used. It can be fast and fun when we all help. Some things need special care. I can wash my hands and use things gently. That way, they won't get dirty or broken. I can use things a long time and use only what I need. Things last longer when I don't waste. I need to wait until I'm older to use some things like car, knife, electric fan, cutter, boiler or water heater. Yeah, it's hot washing machine and spray glue. All of these things you have to be careful using when you grow up, you can use them. I can use other things safely when I'm careful or when someone older helps me but it's a no-no to use the scissors or if someone's help you you can use it anyway I can respect things around me too 
Wherever I go, I can leave things the way I found them or better. When I pick up trash and litter, I help keep places beautiful. I can recycle too. I can use things again or in a new way. People can trust me to leave their things alone. When I want to use something, I can ask permission. If the person says it's okay, I'll be very careful. I show respect for people when I respect their things. Some things are private, just one or for one person. I show that I'm responsible when I leave those things alone. I can take good care of things I use and respect all the things around me. When I do, everyone can enjoy them. Cool down and work through anger. I like to feel in charge of some things. I might feel sad or frustrated when things don't go my way. Or when I can't have or do something I want. Or I might feel hurt if someone doesn't show respect. I may feel angry too. I might have a hot face, tense muscles, a fast heartbeat, or loud breathing. Sometimes I feel like exploding with my hands, feet, or mouth like you want to punch someone like this. But hitting, kicking, and using mean words can hurt people and their feelings that's not okay no punching no kicking no shouting or saying mean words it's not good to do that losing my temper won't help me or anyone else it can cause more anger and hurt keeping my anger shut inside me won't make things better either all of my feelings are okay I can admit when I feel angry, I can, oh, I feel mad. I can learn from my anger and find a way to work through it. First, I can take some deep breaths or count to 10 to calm down. I can stop and think before I say or do something I may feel sorry about later. I can cool down and take a deep breath. I have lots of ways to cool down. I might go somewhere quiet to relax and think. I can draw or make things read a book or sing a song i might also run or play outdoors or spend time with other people when i feel calm i can think more clearly i may think about my part in the problem and what i can change what can i do talking things over with somebody i trust may help me understand and work through my anger I can also talk calmly with the person who was there. I can show respect as I tell how I feel and what I want. I can also listen and try to understand the other person's view. When I've been angry and I've said or done something unkind, I can say, I'm sorry. It won't help me to blame anyone else. I'm sorry. Me too. I can be patient and forgive people. I can remember that everyone makes mistakes sometimes. It's okay. When I can change something, I can choose to accept it and make the most of it. I can look for the best in everyone. Changing the way I think about someone can change the way I feel. I can find a way to get along. When I cool down and work through my anger, I can feel 
peaceful again. Reach out and give. The world is beautiful. There's so much to notice and be grateful for. I'm also grateful for people who help me. There are lots of ways I can show my thanks and give something back. I want to reach out to people. I can be generous. You can give donations to the needy or to the children or orphans. Being generous can take time. I might help someone without being asked. Or I might make something for someone I care about. Or spend some time with that person. I like to join in a volunteer. It feels good when I work to make things better. There are lots of ways to be generous. I can notice what someone might need or want. Then I can say and do kind things that might help. Like what you can see in the picture, the boy helps the girl reach the fountain or water fountain to drink. I can share my things, my time, and my talents. I can help someone smile just by being me and doing things I can do. When I see a need, I can sometimes help right away. At other times, I can get permission first. I can give service by myself or with other people. My little bit can be part of something bigger. I can reach out to people I know at home, at school, and in my community. I can even help people I've never met who live in other parts of the world. My kind act may help one person or many. When I give to someone else, I may need to give up something for myself. I think it's worth doing when I imagine how the person might feel. Giving is like a circle. Good deeds are never wasted. When I do a favor for someone, that person might help somebody else. Kindness may even come back to me. When I do my part, I can help make the world a better place. I'm glad that I can make a difference. And that's the end of our reading practice about Book of Manners Part 2. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.